I'm just stalling. Stalling in the start of this video because it's going to be a little difficult for me. Um, so I have like, this um, delusion that um, uh, the, the CIA is uh, beaming information into my head via satellite um, trying to brainwash me to get a sex change. <laughs> And um, like that's not that's not a deflection or anything. It's not a coping mechanism. Um, <laughs> so I I've lived in denial for you know pretty much all of my life, and for like the past. Like two months, I started pulling that back, and I was only in half denial. You know, I'm, you know, I'm both. I'm non-binary. Um, no, no, it, it's okay. I have to admit to myself that I am a woman, and that's um, it's kind of scary. Um, I know it's all, like, it's, actually, no, it's not all in my head, it's, you know, you know, not, we, do, we don't live in the best of all worlds, <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I've lived with, like, this internalized, um, like, homophobia my whole life, you know, like, you know, things related to my mom on, like the night my mom went to the hospital, um, you know, she um, wasn't lucid, you know, brain infection was, ear infection was going to her brain. And, you know, she yelled at me, you know, you are no son. That's, you know, really stuck with me, really, you know, part of like PTSD is um, like hypervigilance. And um, like I became hypervigilant to be the best son that I could be, um, you know, on top of that, um, my dad was kind of abusive, um, kind of, um, like, he, I remember, like, everything, like, he would, you know, yell at me, you know, retard faggot, um, you know, cocksucker, just, like, things like that, and, you know, those obviously leave their scars, um, and of course, you know, peer, peer pressure, you know, in middle school, you know, being gay was, you know, the worst thing. Um, I don't know. It just, it's hard. There's so much, like, internal sensors and filters and, you know, you know don't do that. You know, you can't talk like this. You gotta be a man. <laughs> can't feel. Not allowed to feel. Feelings are bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I really... Oh. Like, denial. <laughs> We're in denial. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what what this is gonna be like. This is roller coaster. <laughs> oh yeah, this this too. This is gonna be fucking. I, I I'm like I hate my body. I know I I shouldn't like say that. Just get it reinforces like things like that. But like, I I just feel. Like this ogre, and it, I, I'm, you know, I, I, obviously I've thought about this like forever, um, it, and like I've always, like, like bottom line was no, I can't do this because like I'd just be hideous, I'd just be, <laughs> I'd just be a man in the dress. <laughs> 
and then you, know, you can't do that. You can't you know, let yourself. You, know, you gotta love yourself. Is that that's the you know start of everything? That's you know self love is our first love. If the gardener doesn't take care of themselves, who takes care of the garden? If you know, it, it doesn't matter what you know. You know, other people think like I've I've gotten through that in in other ways. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, years ago, um, like I would be on you know the internet, like Reddit, whatever website, whatever forum. Um, and like had to had to win the popular opinion. Had had to have everyone on my side. If if I I did something that got uh, people to like nah, down voting, like that that was bad. Can't do that. Fuck that. Like I, uh, one thing I've learned in the past year it is more than anything. I have to be my authentic self. We all have to be what we are at our core, what we what we were made for. Um, I mean, you know, it, it's it, it's a process of figuring it out. You know, we all have to, you know, learn through experience, and you know, come to you know understand you know how we can best do that. Um, Yeah, I'm still trying that. And you know, there's never going to be a point where I just know everything. I, I just, you know, I have to branch out and try new things. Try something new every day. You know, free, I've said this a billion times already. Um, you know, free will is a skill. You walk down a new road every day. Eventually, you will be able to navigate to many destinations. I, I, my whole life, I've just, you know, kept myself in a box, kept myself, you know, like I said, lived, lived in denial, haven't been able to fully actualize, and thus not self-actualize, because I had to, you know, lie to myself, I had to lie to the world to, you know, meet their expectations, meet the world's expectations, and it's not out outwards in it's inwards out uh, this comes first but it's at the heart and, and what's there but love <sighs> i haven't like taken care of my body at all like, i got i got scars i got you know i don't do anything i just yeah And like um, going back to like the like whole PTSD um, uh, hypervigilance, you know, aspect. Like I track when I used to run track. Um, like I, 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 this this was a machine. That's that's what it was. It wasn't a person. I wasn't a person. I was a machine. I had to be an indestructible turbo tank to you know just barrel through life. And barrel through, you know, pain of, you know, running up a hill, you know, 20, 30 times in a row. You know, it's, I, I had to, you know, flay myself internally to, you know, beat this guy, uh, this guy next to me. Because um, you know, it's what I had to do. You know, I had, I had to serve this conceptualization of God. I had to, you know, please dad in the crowd. I had to please mom in the clouds. And then, you know, it, like, when you live like that, like, you, you sure, you, you can go through the bramble patch without stopping. You can just walk through barbed wire and, you know, you're so disassociated from, you know, what your actual needs are. Um, but it's not a way to live life. 
uh, you know, it's pretty damn stressful. You know, just ignoring, you know, these pieces of myself, you know, screaming out, you know, stop, love me, love yourself. That's what I'm doing now. I don't know. I don't know fashion. I don't know beauty. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to express myself. I don't, I don't know body language. <laughs> it's gonna be a disaster, but it's, it's gonna get better over time. <laughs> I'm grateful. I have one friend, um, group of friends, um, that have been very supportive. Um, you know, been like kind of like dragging me to like get out of my comfort zone. Um, you know, my one friend, um, like he he's uh, hasn't gone through, isn't going through like the same things, but he was you know very introverted as well. And you know, he's told me like he he had to be physically dragged to a festival to you know get out of you know, get out of um, his comfort zone. You know, get out of you know the box that he was in. Um, uh, I'm, I'm like really grateful for that. Um, it's like this is this is hard, you know, just talking to myself, like, <laughs> um, like actually getting these things like out, get these feelings out of me. Stop letting them fester. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's it's you know part of you know, stepping in the right direction. So I know, I know I'm gonna have to you know come out to my dad soon. Um, yeah, I'm terrified, just mortified of that. And he's he's changed. Like, yeah, you know, he, he there was a point in his life he was a staunch Republican. Now he's like you know Bernie Sanders, left hand man. <laughs> <laughs> so so like people can change and I, I know I know he's going to be you know completely accepting loving everything it, it, at the same time it's just everything that's been ingrained into me all these memories all that it just oh it's hard <sighs> like I said it, mortifying uh, I'm gonna do it though. I can't not. Um, it's gonna be another thing. It's gonna help me heal more. It's gonna make me step farther out of my comfort zone. I'll be going to you know, help heal some relationship with my father um, you know that it's really hard like you know, talking with him because like, all the past and like when I got back um, after Owen and I broke up and I moved back here um, like it was easy to talk to him but as time it went on and this became normal again. Like it just regressed back into you know old thought patterns, old you know ways of perception, and like just you know just looking at them is triggering. You know, being in this house is triggering. This guy heal. You know, the negative healing is loving. Um, like love, love is like this um, energy that it, it is the human energy, and it, it it's what you know keeps us together. It's what allows us to 
um, grow. It, it, you know, light is what you know allows the plant to grow. And that's you know what love is to us. More, like I, I um, sometimes feel like I'm, I'm like this old man that's like he's grown like wrong like he's hunched over and like, always leaning to one side um you know the more i love myself the more i'm gonna bring myself back over you know it's i've, I've this has been you know the ruling force in my life most of my life and then you know i haven't listened to this you know, denied all feelings. The more I open up that valve, the more it's going to be able to flow. I'm going to be able to be me. Better. Better than I've ever been before. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I really think the future is going to be bright. <laughs>